Hi, today I will be demonstrating an exciting new feature in ANSYS Release 18, Topology Optimization. Topology Optimization is a technique whereby the computer will try to suggest improvements to your design by reducing the mass while maintaining stiffness or targeting a particular resonant frequency. In this example, we will be optimizing the shape of a bicycle frame. What we're doing here is taking an image from the internet and copying it into the ANSYS CAD tool called SpaceClaim. ANSYS SpaceClaim is an easy to use direct modeler that allows us to quickly create geometry for simulation. What we start with here is the bounding box that encloses the outline of our frame. We'll be putting in locations for supports as well as loads. Here we'll put in holes that represents where we'll be applying supports for the seat, the handlebar, as well as the pedals. Using the pull feature in space frame creates a surface on the XY plane. When surfaces are created on the XY plane, ANSYS can treat these as a 2D simulation, which significantly reduces the computational cost of simulation. As you can see here in the Workbench project window, we have two analysis systems linked together, a static structural analysis followed by a topology optimization simulation. Editing the model cell here allows us to open up the mechanical user interface, which will allow us to set up both the static structural simulation as well as topology optimization. There are a number of 2D analysis options available in ANSYS. Here we're using the plane stress model, which allows us to specify a thickness. The resolution of a topology optimization simulation depends heavily on the mesh size. Therefore, having a more refined mesh allows us to resolve more details in the features that we're trying to capture in our simulation. Setting up the rest of the static structural simulation involves assigning the proper supports and loads. Here we're assigning supports where the frame meets the wheel as well as the handlebar and force loads downwards on the seat as well as the pedal location. The user is also free to add any additional loads interested in such as torque or re even remote forces and dis displacements. Because our topological optimization analysis is linked to our static structural simulation, we could solve both at the same time. However, here I'm going to first solve the static structural analysis, then solve the topology optimization. The first goal at topology optimization here results in a shape that's not very exciting. And that's because by default, topology optimization tries to reduce the mass of our design by 50%, which is not really appropriate for a truss-like structure we're looking for in this model. However, we can easily improve this by becoming more aggressive with our goals for weight reduction. Once the topology optimization simulation is complete, we can adjust the retained threshold level. This allows us to fine tune the amount of material we want to keep or remove, and whatever we see on the screen can be exported as a geometry. The exported geometry can be used to validate the design through simulation or used for design directly. Thank you for your interest in ANSYS topology optimization.